Apple was founded on April 1, 1976 by Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak in a garage in Palo Alto, California. At just 17 years old, Steve Jobs dropped out of school after only one semester, and for a year and a half he took various courses to find out what he would like to study. In 1974, he joined Atari as a video game programmer, where he first met Steve Wozniak. At the same time, Steve decided to travel to India for eight months to study Buddhism. After returning from his trip, Steve Jobs worked again for Atari to create a circuit board for the breakout game. Also, at that time, the Altair 8800 appeared, a computer that had to be assembled by customers but with which nothing could be done. That was until Bill Gates and Paul Allen wrote the basic programming language so that rudimentary calculations could be made. Steve Jobs saw this as an opportunity to make money and turned to Steve Wozniak who had the knowledge to make a computer. But to achieve this they needed money, so Jobs sold his car, a Volkswagen, and Wozniak sold his HP computer. With this money, they launched Apple Computer Company on April 1, 1976 through a partnership with Ronald Wayne. In this way, the three were able to create the Apple I computer that they sold for a year without a monitor, keyboard, or case, which have been included since 1977. Later, Jobs found a way to sell computers. It was to partner with The Byte Shop to sell 50 Apple I computers for $666.66. But unfortunately, the three did not have enough money to deliver the order, so they contacted a component supplier to give them a credit for 30 days and will return the money after the order is delivered. In terms of profit, Jobs and Wozniak took 45% each, and Wayne received only 10% of the company's money. But immediately after the company was founded, Ronald Wayne sold his 10% stake for $800. He was also the one who drew the first Apple logo and wrote the Apple One user manual. One year after its inception, Apple Inc. received the first investment, $92,000. Success was guaranteed, so the Apple II was launched along with its own monitor, open architecture, and colorful graphics. Apple II was very successful, so Apple III was not long in coming. It was launched in 1980 in collaboration with IBM. With each passing day, the founders of Apple became billionaires. Steve Jobs became increasingly convinced that the future belonged to computer-friendly graphical user interfaces. So, in 1983, he launched the Apple Lisa, the first personal computer with a graphical interface. Subsequently, its commercialization proved to be a failure due to the high price and the limited number of applications. Steve Wozniak also left Apple in 1983, and then Jobs put John Scully, president of PepsiCo, as CEO hoping to grow the company. So in 1984, Apple launched the Macintosh 128K, which was successful, but then dropped dramatically due to the high price, low speed, and software limitations. A conflict ensued between Steve Jobs and John Scully over the different vision, and Steve left the company in 1985 and founded Next with some of his employees. Jobs launched here the Next Step OS operating system, which was later bought by Apple for $430 million. At the time, Apple was on the verge of bankruptcy when Steve Jobs returned to lead the company as CEO in 1997. Since then, the company's fate has changed. They began development for new products, and in 1998 launched the iMac, which was sold in over 800,000 units in the first five months. In 2001, the first Apple stores were opened in Virginia and California, Mac OS X was launched, the portable product iPod was introduced on the market, and in 2003 they launched the first digital platform to sell music, iTunes, which is fast becoming the market leader. In 2007, Apple made the most profitable launch in its history, the iPhone, Apple's first touchscreen phone. Given the success of the iPhone, Apple launched in 2010 the iPad, the first tablet that could replace a computer. Unfortunately, diagnosed with pancreatic cancer in 2003, Steve Jobs died in 2011 and was taken over by Tim Cook, who had already held executive positions since 2009. Even though many believe that Steve Jobs' death would mean the end of Apple, Tim Cook has proven that Apple can thrive financially and bring completely new and revolutionary products to market. In 2011, he launched the Siri Virtual Assistant, and in 2015, he launched the Apple Watch.
Right now, Apple is among the most valuable companies in the world. The company's net value at the end of 2020 was $65.34 billion, and its market capitalization is $2.08 trillion as of March 15, 2021. Now, finding out what Apple's past was and knowing where the company is now positioned, some compare it to a religion because it is not a single product or a single person. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video. See you in the next video.